July 20th, 3 p.m., we're going to be uh, doing a, a virtual and a live teaching. The whole purpose of it is to break down what Project 2025 is, how it will negatively impact our people in this country, the people who wrote this 900-something page manual are all affiliated, affiliated with the Heritage Foundation, which is a, a well-known and very powerful and effective think tank. What they are talking about is nothing short of taking over the federal government as we know it and bending it to their will. So they're talking about getting rid of entire departments, the Department of Education, for example. They're talking about making the Department of Justice completely beholden to the president. And they're talking about putting all of the power that's now with the Supreme Court and Congress in the hands of the president, effectively making the country a dictatorship family. You're going to hear a lot of people that are going to say, oh, this ain't nothing new. White man been doing it. Yeah, he been doing it. We know, but never like this. Never had all the things in place for this to happen. Remember, if the Republicans win, the executive branch is going to be conservative and, and probably ultra conservative. Two, the Republicans control the Supreme Court. Six of the nine Supreme Court justices are conservative. And the House of Representatives, if I'm correct, the majority are Republican. Now, the Senate, to my knowledge, is under Democratic majority control, but that can change, family. And listen, I know your social studies teacher told you that the three branches of the United States government have checks and balances so that no one branch has more power than the other. But here's what your social studies teacher never told you. What happens when you have a, an autocrat or dictator type in an executive office as the president and their party or clique has control of the Supreme Court and their party or clique dominates Congress. Now what? There are no more checks and balances. They control the majority of the seats of power in the three different branches of government, and therefore, they can technically get away with a lot of things. They can change the whole uh, structure of the government. So yes, white supremacy is not new. Yes, the Heritage uh, uh, Foundation isn't new. Yes, right-wing Christian conservatives aren't new. White supremacists aren't new. But what is different is the unique set of dynamics, a president that's willing to do their bidding. And people have mentioned Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was nowhere near as sensational, as dismissive of a procedure, protocol, and tradition. Nowhere near where Donald Trump is. And he never had almost complete Republican control of all three branches of government. So this has never happened before. What we're seeing right now is unprecedented. And we need to take that seriously. I'm going to sign off, family. I want to thank you all for joining. Please make sure you tune in on um, July 20th, Saturday at 3 p.m. We're going to get into this with a teaching. We're not going to talk about our agenda. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about what is Project 2025, who's behind it, how will it negatively impact us, what are, what are some of the key things in that plan that we need to be concerned about because it's targeting us.